What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. Reacts. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome back to Muse Thursdays. I hope you guys are still enjoying this. We've got through the week now, 4th of July is over, and it's gonna be another couple months till Halloween. We won't be into the holidays again until a few months, but let's still enjoy the summer, guys. Let's have a good time. I don't mean to be super cheesy as always. Well, I kind of just I can't help that. I like to be positive and cheesy, but I hope you guys are having a good day, and if not, I hope I can bring some sort of positive light to your day, because guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You're a warrior. You're a soldier. Stay strong. I believe in you. And if you need it, the comments are there for your event, or you can DM me personally on my socials, but you do got this. You're awesome, unique in every single way, guys. I love you all. Try to stay strong. Bro fist. High five. You got this, guys. I love you all. Try to stay strong. I know it's easier than done, but you do got this. Now today, the, I, I want to say a lot of you in the past have requested this one. Annoy nobody. You said the song was so much better than Madness or Starlight. And technically that's not a request, I guess. But I know I haven't done Starlight yet. And I swear a lot of you have wanted it in the past. So I kind of just making a half request, if you will. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Guys, check in my description you won't regret it simply how you guys doing in the back slice the dice just really quick i already love the entire like stage presence like just everything evolved with the stage design and layout and how massive the crowd is like can you imagine how that must feel for them to just see all those people and singing the lyrics right back with them and already mad in the band are off to a good start like they haven't gone wild or crazy yet but just the very start of the song, I love it. Yes, I am trying to follow along with the drum beat. It keeps changing up a little bit. I, I think I know what they're trying to do. I just haven't been able to keep up with it yet, and I'm sorry. I can't help myself, but I'm into it. I like to air drum or air guitar. I'm trying to keep that to a minimum, so I don't annoy as many. I'm trying to keep that to a minimum, but like, if I get into it, like, I just want to drum a little, you know? But I already love it. Off to a good start. This just feels like classic muse. This doesn't feel like something where we're going to try to change things up and do a different sound or whatever. Like, this is classic muse. Get back into it. I see what you're doing. Wait, there's two different drums then?
first slice today is right there. Let me just go ahead and jump and say I was following along with the lyrics at first, but I got too into the like actual like, performance. I lost track. I'm hearing lyrics from time to time. Of course, I will look up the lyrics and the meaning after, as always. But I was trying to trying to in the beginning, but I just I lost track. The whole performance is just fine, and I love that little build up in the middle there. That dun, 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 dun. I love that stuff. I mean, there's all sorts of build-ups in the world with these videos and these songs and everything, and that's awesome, but that, just basic. This whole song is very simple, yet elegant. Like, it's, it, it, they don't go wild or crazy, but they also don't stay super basic either. It's just a nice, fine, right in the middle. Like, the, he's easily still smacking the drums, and Matt's, you know, doing his thing on the guitar, but they're not going hard for it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just simple, yet elegant. I love it. Let's just get back into it. Okay, that was just so insanely beautiful and gently awesome at the same time. I never use that, but gently, like you could be awesome, but be gentle with it, if that makes any sense. That was awesome though. I don't really have much to say, like just the whole general like, performance, like the stage, the lighting, the, you know, just the general, everything about that was just so fun and exciting. Like I wish I was at that concert. Like. Seems like they just went all out, and it was just amazing of them. And of course, Matt's usual. I know Muse isn't just one particular band, like same with Evanescence or Breaking Benjamin or anything, but you know, you see that front man and you just kind of connect with that. But Muse in itself, they are an awesome band as a whole. I don't know everybody's names by heart, and I will learn them, I promise. I will learn them. I'm not trying to single anybody out. They are all awesome. They all have a very, everybody has their own particular talents and they're all amazing with that. I just, obviously seeing Matt as the front man, everybody goes to Matt and he does have a really good voice and just even this per, this performance, he did a really good job. He didn't even do that high pitched voice, but it was like this, I don't know. It was, I, I could say it over and over. It was simple, but elegant and I love it. They did a really good job with this. They didn't go too crazy. They didn't stay too soft. It was right in the middle to just enough for you to have a good time with it, have fun, headbang a bit, throw your fists in the air, but not like thrash or anything. Let's look this up. Far away, the ship is taking me far away, far away from the memories of the people who care if I live or die. Starlight, I will be chasing a starlight until the end of my life. I don't know if it's worth it anymore. Hold you in my arms. I just wanted to hold you in my arms. My life, you electrify my life. Let's conspire to ignite. All the souls that would die just to feel alive, I'll never let you go. If you promise not to fade away, never fade away. Our hopes and expectations, black holes and revelations, our hopes and expectations, black holes and revelations, hold you in my arms. I just wanted to hold you in my arms for it. So is this more or less talking about being in a relationship with someone, not exactly just specifically being in a relationship, but like something happened, I don't know exactly what happened, but something happened and you basically just had to leave not necessarily saying you leave your family in the dust like you've become like you become estranged to your family like maybe they don't like you because of being with that person but you are going to go back to them but you're leaving them and you're basically writing off 
I want to say riding off into the sunset, but it's already night. He's talking about the starlight, like just basically driving off in the night and enjoying the peace and quiet of the starry sky as he gets away from this horrible relationship. An interesting uh, premise, especially coming from me, but we'll see what anybody says about the meaning. There's a lot of comments, okay. I like this first comment here. I'm so sick of hearing people say that they enjoy a song. We are here for the meanings, not to hear rambunctious while he's going on about their favorite bit of a song, right? Yes. You, you look up a song online to get into it, like learn the lyrics, learn the meaning, but you have all the, half the time you'll see on these song meanings websites, people saying just how much they enjoy the song. Like you're on a song about, you're on a website about the meaning of a song. Quit commenting just how much you actually like it. We get it, you like it, and you can share that comment on YouTube, you can share that comment on Facebook or something, but on this particular site, we're looking for a meeting, not, oh, I enjoy this song. Stop that. Reel it back, Jeff, reel it back. I'm getting too excited too quickly, but it's true. For me, this song is about someone going through depression, but also trying to get out of it. I'll leave it at that, because that's a long comment, but I like it. In an interview with MTV, available on MTV Online, bassist Chris Wallenstein said, it's kind of a love song about missing someone, friends, family, someone you love it's really kind of upbeat okay so some people are taking it as it's a song about depression and they're kind of relishing in just their own personal struggles and demons and kind of latching onto the song in that way and i'd say that's fine i'd say even if the artists themselves come out and say a song is a particular way if you still want to connect to it in another way connect to it another way don't that's cool what the actual artist said about the song that's what they intended the song to be for but we are all still people, we all still have our own emotions to carry, and if you felt a certain way about a song, continue to feel that way about the song. No one's judging you. And not that this guy is getting after him by any means, but I've seen comments from people saying like, "How? why would he come out and say that? I used to connect the song in this way, now he said this, it's about that. Don't let that change your perspective. Don't let that cr completely alter your world or crash your spirits. Just because they said it's about this instead, if you feel that way about the song, continue to feel that way about the song, who cares? I personally like to know what the artist says about the song itself, and if I, there are times that I personally all go, wait a minute, they actually felt that way? Well, I still connected with this. I'd say you can do both. You can literally do both. You can acknowledge what the original meaning was and still connect it in a different way to yourself. But anyways, yeah, so some people think it's about depression, but apparently it is basically a love song and missing people that you love in your life, just simply missing them. Not that they went away from you or anything, just simply missing them. And that in itself is very beautiful. I like that actually right there. I'm, I'm gonna leave it. You guys in the comments, you let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always remember, my name is Jeff. Pep Junkies Unite, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.